Yeah. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. He's getting acid with a half bottle of Coke. Is it splashing everywhere? There's this one ingredient that I keep coming across. It's called candelilla wax. It's a wax that's extracted from plants and it goes into cosmetics to thicken them. It's used by the world's biggest cosmetic companies. It's been marketed as a vegan and ethical alternative to beeswax. But in some cases, the production looks far from ethical to me. Me and Vesh visited a farm in Mexico to see firsthand how the product is made. I think it's beautiful around here. $15 for this hard work is ridiculous. I think the beauty industry that buy this product are letting these people down completely. When I could buy a lipstick, one lipstick, £18, it just, it doesn't make sense and it's quite cruel. Next part of the process, they are going to use sulfuric acid to separate the plant and the wax. You've had an experience with acid. Yeah. Does that make you more scared and concerned about people freely using it? I just hope that they have the right safety precautions in place. I'd hate to see anyone get burned. It is scary. On my 21st birthday, I was randomly attacked with acid. It burnt my body and it burnt my face. And since then, I've had discoloration, scarring, uneven skin. After being burnt, I felt like a lot of my appearance was taken away from me. But with the use of makeup, I was able to kind of bring that back and become me again. What's the next step from this point? Bueno, en estos momentos es el culminante donde se le agrega el ácido sulfúrico, que es muy peligroso. Where does the sulfuric acid come from? El ácido sulfúrico no tiene las las que no like a compromise, the cera. So they had to give you safety goggles, overalls, you know, acid-proof gloves, any of that type? No. No, OK. Uh, is he going to pour that like that? Is he going to pour it like that? Is it straight from the into the bottle? Has no. he not got no gloves, no nothing? No. But he just picked up from over there. So because the acid has now come out, we've got to put on this protective equipment so that we can stay and watch the final processes. Can you hear the noise of that? And he's got no gloves, no nothing, and that kid is just sat right next to it. It's just not right. It's just not right. How they don't get seriously hurt, I don't know. So now the acid has been added, what process is going on right now? Cuando ya empiezan ellos a colar lo que es la cera de candelilla. En estos momentos todavía sigue siendo muy peligroso porque está emanando toda la sustancia química. So obviously we're having to wear a mask, but you can sort of still smell it in the air. Y esto se ve ya en la salud a plazo de 15 a 20 años, pero es muy, muy, muy lentamente ese proceso de afectación hacia los pulmones. Pero ya no tiene ácido, ya está refinada. El ácido se queda ahí abajo. It just looks like normal candle wax. The people that buy from you and provide the sulfuric acid, do they ever come and inspect or look at how you're working to make sure that things are safe? Yes, they have So they came twice in 30 years. Did they not give you any more machinery, any safety equipment? No, 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 no. Have you or anyone around you ever been hurt? No, 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 no. Es que cuando ponen la, la, la candelilla ahí, te, te va un pie para adentro y o se quema. Es peligro, es pues, con mucho cuidado. It's made me feel very let down that an industry I've always trusted is allowing stuff like this to go on. They're using sulfuric acid to generate candelilla wax, which is then going into beauty products. And one of my beauty products I use on my sulfuric acid burns to cover it up. So I think that's really ironic in a very sick and twisted way.